Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I'm giving my first impressions review on a brand new trail shoe to on running, the Cloud Vista. Is it what? Yeah, this is left. All right, so like I mentioned, first impressions review, this isn't my full review. Uh, and so far in the Cloud Vista, I have one hike and two runs for a little over two hours, just so you kind of know where I'm coming from. And we'll get right into it with the specs on this shoe and finally my thoughts after running in it a couple of times. So my men's size nine weighs in at 10.1 ounces or 287 grams. And the shoe definitely doesn't feel like it weighs that much. Um, I was quite surprised it's that it was that heavy actually. Um, first time putting it on, I thought it was gonna kind of come in at eight and a half, nine ounces. So definitely not a heavy feeling shoe when it's on your foot. For the upper, on is using a 70% recycled polyester. Seems to breathe just fine. Um, I'm pretty sure this upper is gonna be pretty durable as well. You are getting a little bit of a bumper or a mud guard here on the front. No issues with the tongue so far. It's fairly thin, it is gusseted. Halfway down the tongue you have this little strap so you can tuck your laces into it so that they don't get snagged on anything out on the trails. The laces themselves, I'm not a huge fan of. They're really thin, skinny laces, similar to what's on the Cloud Ultra. I always double knot them anyways, just in case they do come undone. Uh, I'm just not a fan of super skinny laces, especially on trail shoes. The heel has some decent padding, uh, a lot more than what's in the Cloud Ultra, if you're familiar with that door to trail shoe from on running. And there is a little bit of structure to the heel counter as well. So overall, really nice upper, feels great when it's on your foot, just like almost every other on shoe out there. On really does know how to put together a really nice upper. Now, as far as fit of the shoe goes, I will say it fits true to size. However, uh, for myself, I'm kind of usually on the edge with on running shoes between an eight and a half and nine. And I usually do go eight and a half. Uh, but in this one, the Cloud Vista, the 9 did fit me a little bit better. So if you're on the edge like me, you might want to go up half a size. Now we get into the cushioning. On is using their Helion midsole in, in the form of these cloud pods. And it's something you either love or you don't. And as far as On's trail line goes, the shoe is quite a bit softer and more plush. Certainly a lot more plush than the Cloud Venture. But as a shoe overall, I'd still probably rank the cushioning of this shoe kind of moderate to minimal. It's definitely not maximal. It's a lot firmer of a shoe than like the Asics Nova Blast or the Hoka Speed Goat if you want to keep it trail specific. And just like every other on shoe, it has a speed board built in above the midsole. So it's a full length plastic plate. Um, and I, in this shoe, I don't really feel like it's loading up and propelling me forward. If anything, it's probably adding a little bit of stability when I'm out on the trails on uneven surfaces. And if anything, it's acting as a rock guard so that it's protecting you from rocks out on the trails. Now the outsole on the Cloud Vista, uh, on is using their Mission Grip rubber, so you know it's gonna be really durable, uh, stickier rubber as well. It's certainly not an aggressive outsole. Uh, the lugs are really tiny. I believe they're only four millimeters. And you're getting two different types of lugs on the shoe. You're getting these square lugs and then these multi-directional lugs in the middle of the shoe. And there's pros and cons to having a trail shoe that doesn't have an aggressive outsole. The cons obviously being you can't run through really nasty conditions. Um, I mean, you can, but the shoe isn't gonna perform as well. So if you're running through snow, slush, mud, um, nasty trail conditions because the outsole isn't super aggressive on the shoe um, it's not going to provide the traction needed for those types of conditions but there is a benefit to that because the outsole isn't very aggressive the shoe still feels really nice out on the pavement and this shoe kind of falls into the category of what's called door to trail and a door to trail shoe you can leave from your front door 
run some pavement to get to the trails, run those trails and then take the pavement back home. This shoe is really versatile in that sense. And as far as trails go, this shoe is gonna perform best on hard packed trails. And finally, because it is an on running shoe, we gotta talk about the rock issue. So on running in especially most of their road shoes, uh, there is a tendency to get rock stuck in between these cloud pods and the model, the new models that are coming out are getting better and better at keeping the rocks out of the outsole. And to be fair, their trail shoes do do a pretty good job of keeping rocks out. I've very rarely had a rock stuck in any of their trail shoes. And so far over a couple of hours running in this shoe, um, I did get a rock stuck once. It wasn't in between the cloud pods though. It was it was in this carved out section where you can see the speed board through the midsole. You can see it's a, actually a pretty big section carved out here. And uh, yeah, on this morning's run, actually I got a uh, rock stuck and I had to actually stop and pull the rock out. And that's nothing new to on running shoes. Um, and I don't think that's gonna be a huge issue with this shoe. So just be mindful. Yes, this is a trail shoe to on running and it won't pick up rocks nearly as much as their road shoes, but it is still possible uh, like it just happened to me. All right, so what are my thoughts on this shoe? First of all, I'm gonna talk about something that I never talk about when I review shoes, and that is the aesthetics of this shoe. I believe this shoe is only launching in three colorways, and all of them are white, which uh, I love the looks of this shoe. I would just wear this shoe as a lifestyle shoe, just kicking around or, wearing er or running errands. But as a trail shoe, I think having a white colorway is gonna deter a lot of people from buying it because I mean, you run through mud once in the shoe and it's never gonna look this way again. I know some of you won't care, but for many of us, hopefully down the line, there'll be some darker colorways for those of us that don't want a white trail shoe. All right, so with the aesthetics out of the way, overall, so far, I've really liked the shoe. The shoe definitely falls into the door to trail category. I'm not a hardcore trail runner. I don't go way up in the Alpine for hours and hours. I usually just leave straight from my front door run three, four, five K, get to some trails and then run back home. So for myself and that type of a trail runner, this shoe is gonna be perfect for that. And actually on today's run, I did 15 K and it was almost all pavement. And to be honest with you, about halfway through, I kind of totally forgot that I was running in a trail shoe. So the crossover from pavement to trail is really nice in the shoe. Um, like I mentioned earlier, this isn't gonna be the best shoe if you're running through like really muddy and aggressive trails. But if you're doing lighter, harder pack trails, uh, then this shoe is gonna be perfect in those situations. This probably isn't a shoe I would race in. It doesn't feel um, ultra aggressive and snappy and speedy, which is typically what I look for in a race shoe. Um, this shoe is just gonna be kind of those easy days when I want to do door to trail type runs and I'm just looking to have something on my feet that's versatile enough to handle the pavement and then some uh, lighter, harder pack trails. If I had to bet, I'd say this is probably going to be one of On's better selling trail shoes over the next year or two. Because it is door to trail, I think it's a lot more accessible to many different types of runners. The fit is nice. It's more accommodating than the Cloud Ultra, which is On's other door to trail shoe. Um, and then price, which I haven't talked about yet. The Cloud Vista retails for 140 US or 170 Canadian. So it's not an inexpensive running shoe, but it's not kind of that top tier. Like it's still 40 Canadian less than the Cloud Ultra. So overall, I think that's a decent price. On shoes always come with a little bit of a premium, but I think it is priced fairly. So there it is, first impressions review on the new Cloud Vista from On Running. It's gonna be a nice door to trail option in my running shoe rotation. Uh, I love how the shoe looks right now, and I'm not sure I'll be able to say that once I go out for a run in some muddy conditions. Maybe this will just have to be a fair weather only running shoe for myself. And if you have any questions about this shoe, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, stay tuned for my full review. I got to put 100k or 60 miles on before I do that. And if you like this review, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more everything running. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.